welcome back to my channel where I make videos just because. So I ran a poll over on my Instagram stories asking you guys which celebrity diet I should follow and 53% of you voted for Ariana Grande. But unlike my previous celebrity and YouTuber diet videos, I decided I would eat like Ariana Grande for an entire week. But spoiler alert, I ended up only lasting five days. So it was more like a working week. So this past five days, I've been eating a vegan macrobiotic diet like Ariana Grande. I'll be honest, I still have absolutely no clue what that actually means, but it's been real. So day one of the diet, I woke up and I had oatmeal with blueberries, which according to the internet is one of Ariana Grande's favorite meals to eat. Now this is a breakfast that I often eat myself, so this wasn't too far out of the ordinary for me. But after breakfast, I ended up doing 150 walking lunges, which apparently her trainer said in an interview that she often gets Ari to do when she's touring and there's no gym. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Also for fitness, Ariana Grande apparently makes sure she gets in at least 10,000 to 12,000 steps a day. So after breakfast and after I did my lunges, I decided to take a long ass walk to Starbucks to get my steps in. No joke, it took me 40 minutes each way. <laughs> article about celebrity Starbucks orders and it was dated pre the whole cloud macchiato thing which is great because Starbucks in Australia doesn't actually do these drinks but according to the article Ariana gets a vanilla bean frappuccino she is vegan though so I assumed she got it on non-dairy milk so I decided to get mine on soy so one thing I'm actually really looking forward to about Ari's diet is she is a massive fan of sweet potatoes specifically with cinnamon on top and I used to love eating sweet potatoes with cinnamon, but I've just kind of forgotten about them. So today for lunch, I'm going to be making up a big batch of sweet potatoes with cinnamon. And I'll be prepping some to take to work for lunches throughout the week. But I'm honestly so stoked to be eating sweet potato with cinnamon again. So while my sweet potatoes are cooking, I'm going to try out this Gimme Green Fresh Juice. Apparently Ari likes drinking lots of fresh juices. I have no doubts that she actually buys them fresh and not just at the grocery store, but like this was just more convenient for me, you know? So this juice has pears, pink lady apples, bananas, cucumber, kale, and cayenne pepper. Spicy. It's not terrible. For dinner, Ariana likes to eat lots of vegetables and tofu, so on day one, I ate lots of vegetables and tofu. A little update on day one of eating and living like Ariana Grande. Those lunges earlier actually took something out of me. I was not expecting that. Day two was kind of uneventful in terms of the diet. I had oats again, except this time I had them with bananas instead of blueberry, you know, just to keep things spicy fresh. And I also had my coffee, but only with a dash of oat milk. So lunch on day two was the same as day one with the cinnamon sweet potato. Delish, love that. So it's day two nighttime now, and I have a little story time for you all. Not really, it's gonna take about 10 seconds to tell. Basically, I fell down the stairs today, and I really hurt my big toe, like, it hurts a lot. I'll insert an Instagram story that I took of this bush turkey that was digging up the garden, and I was so distracted by this bloody thing that I kid you not, I just fell down the stairs. So that's kind of putting a little bit of a damper on the whole walking 12,000 steps a day thing because honestly I can't even do like 10 steps without being in a lot of pain. So we'll see how we go with that. Hopefully I'll be fine tomorrow, um, but today I'm not going to be doing it. It's the worst symptoms, swelling, redness, tender to touch or pain? Pain. Anyways, because Ariana Grande loves eating Japanese inspired foods, tonight we're going to be having some vegetable dumplings and spring rolls. I don't know if this is really something she would eat, but it's gonna take about 10 seconds to make. And that's probably the most time that I can commit to cooking right now. So, yay. 
woke up on day three still feeling quite pain, but we had planned on going to see Toy Story 4 that night. So I wanted to be as good as humanly possible with the diet during the day so that if I did mess up in the evening, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. So I ended up having oats again, but this time I had it with banana and blueberry. Who is she? With another coffee with a dash of oat milk. Two more days of this riveting content. Are you guys ready? Bet you're not. For lunch on this day, I decided to bring some raw veggies to eat at work because I read that Ariana Grande apparently loves snacking on veggie plates. So Alex and I are just about to go see Toy Story 4 and I'm really excited, but when I go to the movies, I crave popcorn. I can't be around the smell of popcorn and not eat it, but I'll be honest, I wasn't quite sure if Ariana Grande would be the kind of person to eat popcorn, so I googled Ariana Grande eating popcorn and I found some photos of her eating popcorn. It does look like they were from a photo shoot, but honestly, we're just going to let that one slide. So we ended up also going to sushi train before the movie, and I got these tempura veggie rolls, which were actually the only sushi I have ever found that I actually liked. They were delicious. And Alex and I shared some spring rolls, and I also had about half of this edamame. Fun fact, it was actually my first time trying edamame, and it was actually pretty good. So it was a big night last night. I ended up not getting home until 8.30, which for me on a weeknight is just, it's late. Um, so this morning I slept in, which means I haven't actually had breakfast, but I picked up some berries at the IGA on the way to work. And I also picked up a salad for lunch. I did see that Ariana Grande ate like a quinoa salad one day, or it might've been like a couscous salad. I can't really remember, but it was some sort of grain and it looked healthy. So I found something that looked kind of similar. So that's going to be my lunch for today. And I'm just going to get a coffee as well. By the way, these blueberries cost me $8. What a ripoff. So dinner on day four was another tofu and veg meal. And honestly, it was so much better than the first day because we tried this new tofu. It was like sweet and sour flavored and it was so freaking good. So my toe's not 100% better yet. It still hurts to walk on. And I feel kind of bad because that means I've only had one day so far in this entire challenge where I've actually done the 12,000 steps. But Alex got me thinking and I realized I can actually do other exercises. I was just so focused on the steps that I wasn't thinking outside the box, you know? So I am going to go to the gym now and I'm going to go ride on the stationary bikes for maybe like an hour or so. We'll see how we go. I know it's not a typical Ariana Grande workout, but if we think about it, she had the side to side music video and in concert, she was riding a stationary bike. So, I mean. So for my breakfast on day five, I decided to have a dragon fruit, which is apparently one of Ariana Grande's absolute favorite foods to eat. I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about dragon fruit. To me, it kind of tastes like kiwi fruit, but less sweet, if that makes any sense. It's okay, but it's definitely not worth the $5 I paid for it. And for lunch on day five, I just had more of that same salad from yesterday. So by the night time on day five, I was honestly so hungry. I think I could have eaten an entire village, but instead I decided to opt for some hanichi and I unfortunately forgot to film this, so I don't have any footage. But it was delicious. I got the tofu curry with rice. Divine. I'm not necessarily sure this would have been something Ariana Grande would eat, but it was Japanese and it was tofu and I really just wanted to eat it. By this time, I was honestly so done with the diet. I just didn't want to do it anymore, so I didn't. And I mean, I ended up losing three pounds in five days and I think that's because I was eating so little. I had no energy and I was only managing to average like 8k steps a day. So I really don't know how Ari does it. Maybe she eats a lot more than what the internet has led me to believe. I don't know. All I know is that for me, this was not sustainable. I was so hungry and yeah, it wasn't a good time. Anyways, if you're looking to lose a heap of weight, but don't mind feeling like you're constantly in a state of having just woke up, maybe this diet is for you. But for me, 
hard pass. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave me a comment down below letting me know which celebrity or YouTuber's diet I should follow next. And if you haven't already hit subscribe, did I already say that? I can't remember. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!